My first guest tonight, boy, we're very excited that she is here. She was uh, the very first performer chosen for the cast of Saturday Night Live, and since leaving that show, she has gone on to success on the stage and screen, of course. Her latest project is this book, which she has co-authored with Alan Zweibel, Roseanne Rosanna Dana's Hey, Get Back to Work book. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure now to welcome Gilda Rabner. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Nice to see you. Well, it's nice to see you, too. Thanks for being here. Now, Thank you, you uh, I saw you earlier, and you were worried that we had actually seen one another before the show. Well, I was worried. I thought we should just see each other for the first time now. I want you to know, this is the first time I've ever um, been on an interview show where the, the guy was behind a desk. It really? really is the first time, I swear. Usually, like, you'd be sitting here, two seats. Like, now I'm, my neck hurts from talking to you. Well, is there... Would you, would you be more comfortable in some other configuration? No, this will be fine. <laughs> I, see, I think they're making, making up their own jokes I out know. there, which is... A, as long as they're laughing, it's okay. Yeah, well, now, but is there some sort... This is not an old uh, kind of uh, superstition, is there, about seeing each other before the show? Uh, no, I just, I, no, actually not, but I thought we shouldn't talk, you know, we might say something we were going to say, Yeah. you know, it wouldn't be like fresh, Yeah. Cause we would, or we'd talk and get sick of each other right in the, in the makeup room. Oh, <laughs> so, so apparently you, you've seen the show before. No. <laughs> uh, now let's talk about the book. I was uh, reading this book. It seems to me that the preface of this publication is, what, about 101 pages? It page? is 101 pages long. Yeah. The actual book is 10 or 11 pages. <laughs> now, why, what, what's the reason for that? Well, the, uh, the uh, book company hired Roseanne to uh, write a self-help book on uh, dealing with the unemployment problem right. and having confidence and getting your job back if you lost your job. And uh, she chose instead to tell her whole life story, where she was born and do a complete autobiographical study of herself. Uh -huh. And uh, then uh, the editor keeps coming in and reminding her to get on with the self-help part, and, uh, but he gets fired eventually. <laughs> and uh, when she finally gets to the how-to part of the book, there's only enough room to make it uh, 11 or 12 pages, or the book would be more expensive. Uh -huh. Well, sure. Well, right. as long as there's a good reason for that. Right. <laughs> now, are, are, there, are there valuable uh, finding job uh, tips to be had in here? Absolutely. All based on, um, on confidence and uh, getting a good attitude. There's also little things to do, like connect the dots while you're waiting to get a job. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> advice on uh, television shows you could watch to lift your spirits. Spirit, sure. Right. Yeah, and many, many other things. Right. So it's a, it's a practical book as well as a spiritually enriching project. Absolutely. Oh, good. Right. Uh, we have a, a commercial here we're going to do, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about uh, Roseanne and, and other things. Okay? okay. You all right? Okay. okay, good. We'll be back with Gilda Radner. Gilda Radner is here. Uh, later on tonight, you'll uh, see Michael Caine here. Tomorrow on this program, Jay Leno and Rip Torn will be joining us. Gilda, I was looking through this book, and we have uh, pictures of Hernando, Rosanna Dando, right. <laughs> and uh, someone called the Rhyming Bum. Oh, yes, people that uh, Roseanne met uh, during her rise to fame. And uh, David Brinkley? I, I should explain that uh, David Brinkley is in the book because um, he was very helpful in getting Roseanne her job at NBC. She was looking for a job at the time and uh, walking um, along 57th Street, and she saw... David, he was covered with mud all oh, over his no. pants and his suit and gook from the street. And he was, uh, I don't mind saying, swearing like a dock worker out there. <laughs> and, um, and Roseanne, it just so happened Roseanne's uh, family was in the dry cleaning business. So uh, uh, she took uh, uh, Mr. Brinkley down to her father's dry cleaning establishment, the very dry, dry cleaners. Uh -huh. And um, there's, there's a picture in here of that. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. a picture of the storefront. And, uh, and so her father, Bert Rosanna Danner, Ro Ros I can't say it anymore, <laughs> Rosanna Danner Jr., he cleaned David Brinkley's pants, uh, but he couldn't get some of the heavy gook out mm. of it. And uh, Roseanne came up with the idea that when you do the news, you really don't have to wear pants, sure, right? Because no true. one sees your right. legs. And, um, and Brinkley was so happy he gave her a job at NBC. Well, that's an exciting story. And there's story. many other stories like that. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, what did David look like in his... Uh, did she actually get to see him in his... Yes, uh, he, uh, he wears a uh, bikini underwear that says Home of the Whopper on them. <laughs> <laughs>
Gee, you never know. That's so, I would uncharacteristic for the man. Um, you know, there was a uh, another a friend of yours or a character that you uh, made quite popular on your show, Emily Latella. That's correct. Uh, yeah. Now, there is an interesting story behind the origin of of that person, isn't there? Right. Well, I was actually um, raised by a woman who is 90 now and lives in Canada. Her name is Mrs. Gillies, and I call her Dibby. And it's it was her voice, you know. Uh, it's actually her voice and her difficulty with hearing a little bit that uh, made the character get developed. Do a yeah. little of the character. Well, Can she you would do go, that? Uh, what's all this fuss I keep hearing about David Redderman? <laughs> you know, something like that. <laughs> can still do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this was a, an actual person actually talks this way. That's right. That's right. right. And she, uh, she raised me. She, uh, did I say she's 90? Yeah. She is 90. And Wonderful. When, when the people were writing the show, would they talk to her? Well, what to get... we do is, um, uh, like, uh, Alan Zwei Bell, who wrote the book That's with right. me, the Roseanne book, we also wrote a lot of the Emily Latellis together. And we'd call her up to get her voice intonation and to see what she'd have to say about it before we would write the Emily Latella. And, and other writers who wrote uh, for the character, they'd call her up, too. Okay, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to give her a call and see if, she, see if she actually sounds like Emily Latella. Okay, making votes. Now, remember, she's 90. Okay, 90 well, you're going to talk to her. Now, what, what part of the world are we calling here? We're Dilda? calling Canada, outside of Hamilton. Okay. Better get the right number. <laughs> oh, this makes me terribly nervous. I've been doing this for 21 years. <laughs> Here, I hope that's, I hope that's uh, Mrs. Gillies. I find it difficult to believe that she sounds just like you. Will you all hear her? Yeah, I think we should, unless... Yeah, we should. Maybe. Give her another oh, chance, because yeah, she's... Yeah, I may have screwed right, that okay. up. All right, let me... Do you want me to dial for it? I'll get it. He's tired after now. dialing all these years. One more chance. <laughs> okay, geez, I hope that's... What would she be doing this time of day? It's oh, talking that. on the phone, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but... Wow, it's kind of a Star Wars deal, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this will be... This is Dibby Gillies. Hello. Hello? Deb, it's me. Hello. It's me, Gilda. I can't hear you. It's me. <laughs> it's me, Gilda. Yeah, but you're speaking miles away. Well, I am, Deb. I'm in New York. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. It's me, Gilda. <laughs> How are you, Deb? I'm just fine, sweetheart. Oh, what are you doing now? I'm having my supper. Oh, <laughs> Did we interrupt your dinner? Huh? Did we? <laughs> Good when I get done. I had a piece. <laughs> what did you say? I say I had a piece of chicken that tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? Yeah. What else? Oh no, I've got potatoes and tried the uh, ripe tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, some green onions. Oh, <laughs> Deb, I know. They all want to hear you say, never mind. Can you say that? Never mind. Oh. <laughs> That's terrific. Gilda, thank you very much. I love you, Deb. Good luck with the book. Bye -bye. Gilda Radner, Bye -bye. Mrs. Dibby Gillies. Thank you very much. She sounds terrific, Gilda. Thank you so much. We'll be back to see how Telekid's favorite TV show has been canceled. That was very sweet. Thank you.